Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Love, and welcome to Country Living. Tonight, we're going to have some T-bone steaks and a salad. And no, I did not buy these steaks today. I've had these for a while in the freezer. So, let's get down here and get a salad made. Alrighty. I got some lettuce. And I'm just going to tear it apart instead of cutting it. That way it don't bruise so bad. It tends to bruise if you cut it. And if you hear other voices, that's my husband on the phone. Alrighty. Just that quick. We got lettuce tore up. Alright. Now we're going to cut up a tomato. Let me grab my tomato knife. This little serrated steak knife, best knife I got for cutting tomatoes. Lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers. That's pretty much what I put in our salad. My husband don't really like anything else in it, and I'm fine with that. Unless I want a chef's salad. And then I'm tossing everything but the kitchen sink in it. We're going to go ahead and get this foodie grill heating up. I got my foodie grill heating up for my steaks. This is the best way to cook a steak inside. I'll show you what it looks like here in just a second to get these tomatoes finished. I'll show you what my foodie grill looks like. Let me see if I can get you down here low enough where you can see it. This is what I cook my steaks in. It's a Ninja foodie grill. I can cook two T-bone steaks in here in about 10 minutes, and they'll be perfectly cooked the way I like them. So I got that heating up for our steaks, and I'm going to get back to finishing this salad. Peel this cucumber. I ain't sure why that thing is so loud. It ain't normally that loud. Hopefully it ain't trying to go out on me. these chopped up and that'll have this ready to go all 
All right, there's the salad. I don't lose more than half of it. All right, salad's done. Now we're gonna throw this stuff in the sink. get a plate. And here's the T-bone steaks. We're going to season these up with some nature seasoning and some head and country. Nature seasoning, I put on everything. Some head and country. Find where it opens. There it is. This gives it a nice, good, seasoned, smoky flavor. Season up both sides. So we're going to let this thing finish heating up and then we'll be right back. The good thing about this foodie grill is once it gets to the right temperature of where you want it to cook from, it'll beep and let you know that it's ready to add the food. You open it up, put your food in it, close the lid, halfway through the cooking time. See, it's telling me, add food. Put that one in there like that. Put that one in there like that. They fit perfect. We'll close the lid. And at five and a half minutes of cooking time, I'll go and flip them over and let them cook for another five and a half minutes, and then they'll be done. So we'll be back. A few moments later. All right, now we're going to flip them. Range it in there. There we go. And let them cook for the last five and a half minutes. So I'll see you back here in just a little bit. Steaks are done. Okay, look. Now don't that look yummy. Look at that. Now, is that a dinner or is that a dinner? We're going to let it set for just a little bit. We're going to unplug this. Move that out of the way. This one's my husband's. But we're going to let that sit there for just a few minutes and let it soak up its juices. And then I'll cut it. But I'm going to let it set for just a few minutes, and then we'll be back. All righty. Steak and salad. That's what's for dinner. It looks good. It smells good. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. Every now and then, you just got to spurge a little. Yes, ma'am. Get your greens in there. Man, that's good. That's delicious. 
that's my video for tonight. Now tomorrow, I'm going to make a couple of treats so I can take them to church Sunday morning. I thought about making them tonight, but then I thought, eh, now they'll have to sit all day tomorrow and tomorrow night, so I'm going to make them tomorrow. But if you're new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed after this video, I sincerely hope that you will consider doing so. For my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining my channel. I appreciate it. I think I'm up to 459 now. So I need 41 more to hit 500 by the end of this month. The end of this month is getting here quick. So I need your help. I want to be able to do my first giveaway. Well, the first of the month. It won't be the actual giveaway giveaway but I want to do the first video of where I get comments for a giveaway. Did that make sense to y'all? It sounded better in my head but when it came out my mouth it didn't sound exactly the way I wanted it to. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> y'all smart enough to figure that one out. But anyways, if you're new to my channel, I sincerely hope that you will subscribe. Please don't let my antics scare you off. I'm old. It comes with age, I guess. <laughs> but God bless each and every one of y'all. And I pray that y'all have a wonderful Christmas. I pray that the love of your family and friends fills your home and fills your life and fills your heart. To overflowing so much so that it spills out on everyone that you come in contact with I pray that God blesses you that he strengthens you for the journey he's put you on because one day it will be worth every step you've taken I thank God for each and every one of you I thank you for your prayers during the time that I've been sick um, I, I've mentioned before that it does take me longer to get over an illness when I get sick and yesterday I'm not sure exactly what happened to me but all I did was sleep literally all day long I had a headache and that was the only time I could get any relief from it was when I was asleep so I thank you so much for your prayers I deeply appreciate each and every one of them they mean the world to me and each of my subscribers, y'all mean the world to me. And I appreciate all of you. I don't ever want you to think that I've taken you for granted for anything. Um, I, I love each and every one of you. just like you were my family. So with that, I will say Merry Christmas. God bless. And until we meet here again tomorrow, I pray that you have a wonderful evening and get a great night's sleep. Stay warm if you're in the path of this storm. This cold storm, stay warm. Don't get out if you don't have to. But God bless. Take care. And until we meet here again tomorrow night, thank you so much for watching.